All right, folks, we are at the church. We're just putting this little video together to show you how church is going to operate on, on Sunday the 12th of July when we open. I appreciate it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to take a little getting used to, but we want to do our best to be a good testimony in the community. And uh, we're putting everything in place that we can to make it safe and secure for you to come back to church. So we're going to do this little video. I've got my trusty helpers with me, and we're going to show you what it's going to be like on Sunday mornings at Calvary Baptist Church. Right, folks, we're going to ask you that when you arrive, just to stay in your car if you can, and then one of our deacons will come out and escort you into the church. So what a wonderful concierge service we're put, putting on. Of course, Jerry and Anu are from the same family group. They're happily married, despite what Jerry says. One of my favourite things about lockdown has been the length of Jerry's hair. I told him he has to grow it until Jesus comes. He's also dressed up like the Indian Terminator. In a very good service. Here they are, the wonderful guinea pigs as they come into the church foyer. When they come in, they'll be signed in, we'll record, we'll, you'll be asked to use the hand sanitizer and thoroughly cleanse and wash your hands. You're doing a good job, Ethan. That's the best hand washing I've ever seen. You missed a bit, Anu. You missed a bit. <laughs> well done. And then the deacon will escort you in to the main hall. So when you're placed into your seating area in the main hall, you'll see we have banks of four and banks of two. Banks of four are for those uh, groups with obviously three to four people. And then those in ones and twos can um, sit in the ones and twos. Once you're in the service, we will have music performed by our worship team. There will be no congregational singing according to government advice, but we will open our service with a music special from the worship team. And that will be followed by notices, the preaching of God's word, and then we'll close up with one more music special from the worship team. So we're keeping the time of the service down to a minimum. It'll be less than an hour each Sunday, and then we'll have you in and out as quick as we can and as safely as we can. So at the end of the service, we'll ask you to remain seated, and then the deacon will come, and he will escort you out of the building, where we'll have another station to get our hands cleansed, and then you're out and into your car, and we will make sure that we leave in our groups. The deacon will take the individuals, or the groups, to their cars or let them out of the building. And this way we're restricting the amount of contact we have with each other and the amount of contact uh, around the surfaces within the church. This is what I expect on Sunday mornings. Obedience. As you can see, we're doing our best to keep you safe. We're keeping the social distancing between the seats. What we're going to do also is after our Sunday service, we're going to lock down this area. We're going to shut the doors and make sure that this area is untouched by anybody for six days. So we'll get our cleaning crew, and if you're willing to be part of the cleaning crew, let us know. We'll get you on a rota. We'll provide you with the correct uh, PPE and uh, cleaning uh, uh, materials to do the job well. We'll come in on the Saturday before the service on the Sunday. There's been six days in between where, where any bugs have been able to die naturally, and hopefully then we protect our cleaners, and then we get the, the place ready for our service on, on Sunday. What I would say to you is that um, we're going to try and keep the toilet used to the minimum so that the only one toilet is going to be open the disabled toilet is going to be open if you need to go to the toilet during the service then the, the deacons will take you out there we're trying to keep the contact the surface is the minimum we want to keep this as safe as possible so i want to encourage you you know if, you, if you're a little bit nervous about coming back to church we're doing everything that we can to make sure that this is a, a safe experience for you and actually much more safer than it is going to the shops or going to um, out to uh, walk around where other people are there. We're really doing our best to look after you. So we look forward to seeing you in church Sunday the 12th of July. I'm really looking forward to it and I hope you can be there with us where we can.
Zion, worship the Lord together.